Hey fools, Sam here with Max Chat, scofool.com contributor. Today we're talking about CVR Partners, a company that's really been beat up recently. Um, basically, they're just a solo uh, nitrogen fertilizer company, really not diverse. Tell us what are some of the issues going on with this company. Right, so I did a video right before second quarter earnings came out, and I thought it'd be a really good quarter for investors to get into. Uh, and it was a record quarter in terms of sales and, and income, mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately the company had some uh, unscheduled downtime, and that really is the biggest risk facing CVR Partners. Mm -hmm. It only has one facility and it only deals in nitrogen products. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you have one facility in it and you have some downtime, obviously you're out of business uh, for the, right. the time being. So obviously that is worrisome. Um, nitrogen fertilizer companies overall have been doing pretty well over the last year and a half. A lot of demand still there. So what are some of the other investments that you can look at, bigger companies or more diverse companies? Who do you like in that, that area? Right, so if you still want to play nitrogen fertilizer, it's a very strong nutrient, you might want to look at Terra Nitrogen. Mm -hmm. uh, so the company has about twice the capacity in both urea ammonium nitrate and ammonium uh, compared to CBR Partners. Mm -hmm. And it also produces about twice the amount of revenue and income each year. It also only has one facility though, so it might not be at the diversity that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So if you want more diversity, you might want to get exposed to all three nutrients, uh, you should maybe look at Agrium and Mosaic. So Agrium is involved in all three major nutrients, and it also has a viable seeds business and crop protection services. Um, so that could be a good investment there. Mm -hmm. And then with Mosaic, uh, it's one of the largest phosphate producers in the, in the world. Uh, and it also produces phosphate not just for fertilizer, but also for the animal feed business. So that helps stabilize margins and protect uh, average selling prices when fertilizer prices drop. Yeah, definitely. I think going more with a diverse approach always helps, especially a company like Agrium. There's been a lot of uh, activist investors working in that company too. That could really unlock a lot of value. And I still see quite a lot of uh, big upside with all three of those players that you mentioned there. So thanks a lot for your insight. Be sure to tune back into fool.com for more energy analysis.